Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft survival, Roads to Hermitcraft rebranded. <laughs> In this episode we're going to be doing something I have never done before, kind of like what I was doing last episode but not really on such a big scale. Today we're going to be messing with something that I've never done before, but for this new task I'm going to have to transform myself into the perfect beekeeper. <laughs> Do you like my outfit? I have a hat as well. If I here we go, I put my beekeeping hat on. So I'll be wearing this when I'm dealing with the bees and <laughs> making sure that I'm not getting stung by any of them. Um, at least that's that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan, not to get stung by any of them. I hope you I hope you like this skin. Also, I didn't realize you could switch your main hand. So wait, if I I I, I punch with my left hand now. Whoa! <laughs> when when did this happen? That's so cool. <laughs> I'm actually left-handed, so I might, I might, might do that. That'd be quite cool. But guys, let's head over to some plains biomes and see if we can find ourselves any beehives to get some bees with. Thank you very much, Mr. Cameraman. Your uses have been very helpful. This is kind of creepy. I'm looking at myself so close on the, on the other screen. <laughs> see you later, cameraman. Hey, miss. Hey, 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 come back. Hey, 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 stop. stop. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Hello? Yes, hello. No. I need I need your assistance, Mr. 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 I Gollum. I need your assistance with the bees. I need your assistance with the bees. Please, I beg you. I, I need help. Stop ignoring me. You need to grab the beehives and bring them back for me. No. Are you saying that that's not possible? I have to make my own beehives? I'll be off. I need to go deal with my bees now. Thank you, sir. I did a poll on the last video of what you guys wanted to see me doing in this one. And, well, no one did it, so I'm going to do my own thing. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my skin's changed. I need to, I need to flick back to my, my resource pack. Yeah, I did a poll on my last video asking what, what you guys wanted to see in this video. And nobody commented on it, so I'm going to be doing my own thing. I'm going to save some of those ideas for future episodes. And yeah, we're gonna head and get some bees in this episode and hopefully we can start our own little little bee farm. So let's head to the plains biome. So I need to go into a plains biome to find myself some bees. And thankfully, I already live in a plains biome. So I'm gonna jump down here and oh, I've still got that cow farm. That's something I wanna do at some point. I wanna make a, uh, a cow farm. But yeah, as you can see on the left side, um, it said somewhere, where is it? Biome Minecraft Plains. So I'm gonna get okay. I don't have any saplings. I'm gonna have a look for some. Uh, I'm gonna look for some bee beehives in some of these trees, and uh, maybe chop a few down, get a few saplings, and grow some more. And hopefully we can get this beekeeping job underway. Oh, guys, we're getting them. We've got a bee. We have a beehive now. Awesome. So we've got a ton of flowers in this area and we want to get this little bee dude to be uh to be our friend we want to get more bees so oh, oh there's another one oh, oh my god there are three okay so i need to place this campfire below the beehive and um basically i'm going to place a ton of rose bushes around this guy yes they love the rose bushes um <laughs> i'm gonna place these around them here and bees are my friends because i'm wearing my bee suit you can see I'm, i'll take that off now i'm gonna be protected from the bee where's this guy going hey come back buddy come back yeah if i place that in my right hand then they will follow me and i need to build a uh, little area cordon cordon them off but this should be pretty smooth sailing i've watched a video so i'm a pro on this now uh degree and everything so we're gonna finish cordoning these guys off so we are back and it's been a little while and these guys have produced us a little bit of honey so when you see this happening basically you have to make sure that the campfire is below basically these two little holes will fill up with with this lovely dripping honey and it yeah it starts dripping honey as well um the the whole the whole sh shazaz you can see it landing on the campfire there so you have to make sure the campfire is there otherwise they'll get angry at you but basically if you want to collect honeycomb which is used to make the actual beehives what you do uh if you want actual honey though you have to right click it with bottles but basically you just press it oh and there we go honeycomb awesome oh can you eat this stuff 
I feel like you should be able to eat this stuff. But basically, we'll come over to this to our crafting table. What are you, what are you trying? What are you playing at? Huh? You want the honeycomb? Wait, is he actually attracted to the honeycomb? No, just wanted to get into that corner, I guess. Um, we we come over here, and ooh, there it is, the beehive. So basically, to get these guys into my beehive. Uh, they all have to come out of their their beehive, um, and then I have to uh, use my leads, which I have somewhere. There they are. I have to use my leads to get them back over to my house, and then um, I have to put a campfire under this bad boy and make sure that they're they're all happy, cozy in that area with plenty of flowers and whatnot. So uh, I need to transport those guys over here, but I'm thinking. We could sort this area out, make it a little bit more bee friendly. We got quite a cool, quite a cool cliff here. We may as well do something cool to it. So let's head into ultimate build mode. As we look back over our beautiful new area, which is kind of cut off by trees, we are back next to our bees, and we are ready to bring them over to our new area. So I just got to wait for them to get out of their uh, beehive, and then I'm going to be snagging them and running away. All right, so I got two of them, and then I bred them up. So now there should be three. Now, I don't... I, don't th I think this is going... Pretty smooth. There's a wandering trader over there. Hello, lad. Um, it, this looks like it's going to be pretty smooth sailing. They might get caught up with these flowers here, maybe? I think we're okay. We just need to get them across. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. I'm really scared that one of the leads is going to break because I don't really use leads. Oh. Yay. Uh, I don't know what to... I think I place the fence down. Right click on the fence. And then right click to take them all off. And hopefully they'll start doing their bee business. Busy bee business. And they'll uh, start heading into into this one. So I'm going to go and break the old um, whatever this thing's called. What's it called again? Can't remember. Oh my god, I actually got it. Bee nest. Whoa. What can, whoa, what can I do with that? Oh, that's so cool. Um, <laughs> damn, Sam, overreacts overreacts much. <laughs> um, so hopefully our our little bee buddies will uh, relocate into the uh, beehive which we now have. Okay, so there's only one out, which is kind of making me think that maybe maybe they've they've gone back inside because they were tracking over in this direction trying to get to that old bee nest. Uh, which we now know it's called. The next thing I want to do is, well, after I've slept, I need to go grab my, my second bed back. I want to get this area down here prepped for... Ow! I want to get this area prepped for a, another uh, sort of like farm area. I think that'll be really cool. So let's get going on the brand new farm. there you go guys i hope you enjoyed that time lapse uh we are now looking at the field uh 
it's almost done. I just need a few more seeds to fill it in. In the future, I'm hoping to place beehives on the top of these these sticks. I think that would look really cool, and then villagers would come and tend to the crops from over there, and uh, bees would fertilize everything. But I'm thinking of put, putting some villager buildings around here, so around there, or over there, or just over that hill there. I think that would look really cool, but I hope you guys really enjoy that time lapse and uh let's head on to the next thing so guys i've been playing around with a couple of designs for our automatic bee farm which is going to pump out a ton of honey and a ton of honeycomb so i saw this first design on the instagram account called couple of crafting and it's a really simple design basically the comparator i guess it updates a change in the block status which then activates this dispenser which then it uses um which is pointing into the beehive which then dispenses one of these glass bottles which is then collected by the item hopper and then makes honey bottles or if you were to use um you could use shears in here instead it does the same thing but gives you honeycomb and i also just came up with this quick design where basically this observer detects a detects a change in the beehive and then it powers this redstone line, which then powers this dispenser here, which will then um, use glass bottles or shears to shear the or glass bottle. I don't know, <laughs> shear or glass bottle the uh, beehive. And oh, you just saw it working there. But one problem with it is it actually pumps out. It gives off excess glass bottles, um, which is a bit of a problem. We don't want extra glass bottles being used whereas this one's foolproof it doesn't overuse glass bottles so i think we'll probably go for this one and because it's done in this um it, because it's built in this way it means that it's modular which means we can do loads of these in a line and um we can fit this in somewhere really nice and tight so I'm going to go build this and I'll bring you guys along for it. So guys, I have been building the automatic uh, honeycomb farm and honey, uh, what's it called, farm <laughs> on, on my world now. And these guys have been working away. I've only got two in here so far. This one has three bees in, in it. This one's, this one's got two in it now. Oh, that's a bit strange. But it seems to be working quite well. If I look in this dispenser, the shears are being used twice now and i can come back here and see what's going on um i think uh, that should be powered but i think it'll power it when the bees go back inside um but if i come down here and have a look in the barrels where they're collecting i've got 15 honeycombs so far and seven bottles of honey which is pretty cool um my bees are also working away out here if i if i just head outside and block this back up the bees are working away uh, inside here, slowly, slowly building up. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this room. I'll probably keep breeding them and uh, they'll keep going. And then I'll slowly move them over here, at least the beehives over here into the middle of my um, my crop field. But I think this is a really cool addition. As you, I, as you can see, I've just um, mined a ton of these ones up so I can expand the whole wheat field and plant more over here but i think this looks really cool and in the future to come oh god look at look at that hill isn't that gorgeous but yeah in the future to come more and more development will be happening around this area and it'll be looking cooler and cooler and i hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as i am but anyway guys i think i'm going to end the episode off there i really hope you've enjoyed this episode a bit more chilled out than the last one the last one was mega techie um if I take off my take off my hat so you can see my you can see my face. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!